NTD CNC have travelled down to Yeovil and we've arrived at Link Real Position. Now I'm here with Matt Balance, who is a machinist here at the company. Matt, we want to know about Matt because he's got some parts that he's been making on the Star Machine. So tell me about your background, Matt. Um, yeah, I came um, to Link Real after leaving my old place uh, a couple of years ago. Uh, I used to work on Stars. Um, they've got got one, um, so I, I came here to uh, to do their star and obviously working on them before I've um, fitted right in. Yeah, a great transition. So Linkreel invested in the SR32J2 about 18 months ago. So far, so good. So talk me through some of the parts that you quite enjoy making. I, I, have you noticed I've got the really, really heavy one as well? Yeah, yeah, that, um, that big heavy one, um, it might look easy, um, but to the, because of the sheer length of it, um, on a normal machine is difficult to make, whereas on the star, being able to sink the spindles, uh, grip the part, say here, do a little bit, grip it again, do a little bit more. I was able to do that part, which is near on 400 mil long, um, in about eight minutes. That's uh, incredible. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It, was, um, it, it was a challenge doing that, <laughs> but um, yeah, it, it, it's good though. Everyone loves a bit of a challenge. Now talk me through some of the smaller parts. I have to put that down, it's quite heavy. So talk me through some of the smaller parts here because you would never have accepted this job, would you, if it wasn't for the Star no, Machine? No, no. I mean, this this job in, in particular here uh, is a bit of M3 thread. Uh, it's about 60 mil long. Uh, but doing it on a normal lathe, doing something like that, the thread wouldn't look too great. Um, you may snap the, the bar, whereas doing it on the star, I've done little bits at a time and used uh, something what's called a thread matching. Um, so I've done about 20 mil uh, of thread and then done another 20 mil of thread and I've actually managed to match the thread up so that that thread is perfect all the way down. And that's technology that stars specifically do for this technique? Yeah, yeah. yeah. Okay, and this other part, and the other part that you've got here is quite technical. You've got the grooves, you've got the contouring, you've got angled holes. Yeah, yeah. Again, this um, this part is uh, is quite a technical um, part. Um, I, as you can see, you've got got this diameter here that then goes up into uh, a radius, um, and then you've got this this angle here, uh, angled holes, uh, flipping it over. You've got another angle inside there and um, that bore is is tied up as well on the um, on size and, and the star does it but, quite easily but you machine most of your work on the star you find it quite an easy machine to use yeah. is that right yeah yeah uh, I do find it quite easy but I'm used to it uh, whereas other people may not be as used to it but the ease of the star mm. anyone can pick it up quite quickly and if it's easy what benefit does that have for you uh, obviously, the easier it is, the quicker I can get jobs set up on there, the quicker I can get jobs programmed, the quicker they come off the machine, the more jobs I can do, the more money the company makes. Well, thanks, Matt, and thank you for the insight into the SR32J2 Star Machine.